Hey y'all, welcome back to Ladija's Creations. And if you would love to see the continuation of my pantry makeover, stay tuned. I know that I've been a little absent lately because I've had some personal things to tend to and I'm still tending to them, but I did not want to leave y'all stranded with nothing to watch. So if you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. And now that you're family, don't act like no stranger around here. Go ahead and grab your smoothie, your coffee, or whatever it is that you're drinking. And pull up a chair, or as we say here in the South, pop a squat <laughs> right there. In the last video, you all saw where I made these doors right here. And basically, there's not too much more that I have to do. I'm going to paint my baseboards. And I would have done that in the beginning had I known what my full color scheme was going to be in here. I knew that I wanted my walls to be gray, but I had not decided upon what color I wanted my cabinetry and my shelves to be. At first I was thinking I wanted to maybe put a stain on them, but then I thought about painting them as well. And as I keep on telling you guys, you know, ever since I've been working on this, I love this natural wood. So. As of right now, I think I'm going to be keeping the natural wood. I may stain it at a later date in the future. I knew my design, but I didn't know exactly what color I was going to be placing in here outside of the color that I placed on the walls. So right now I'm going to go ahead and paint the baseboard and the frame area gray, the same color as the walls. And I'm also going to paint that part of the baseboard with the gray paint as well. And I need to put that piece right there down. I have it cut right there. I'm going to switch out that bottom piece. I don't like how yellow it is. I still have to do the countertop. The countertop is what I have been pondering over. I don't know if y'all know, but this is my first time ever doing something like this in the pantry. And I have been learning. I have been learning and I love learning when I'm doing projects, but that countertop, I don't know. There's a couple of more things that I want to do in here, but um, I won't mention it. Y'all will see it if I put it in this video. But yeah, those few things are what I have to do. And I'm getting ready to get started painting that and putting that piece right there on. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and paint this baseboard and also around the frame of the cabinet. I never told y'all I was a painter. I hope I'm not getting that on the side of my wood over there. The side of my door. And I'll just paint it wildly. Wildly wild. And I do not want to paint the sides of it. And I wish I would have known my color scheme from the beginning. I would have went ahead and painted this beforehand. Just trying to get in here. It's tight. Trying to have this camera in here, this paint. There's a little bit of space. But let me, y'all know how to paint. So I'm going to get all of this stuff out of here. I'm trying to record and get this done. 
Okay guys, so this is the frame area having been painted. It's looking good. Ryobi, give your girl a call. Still waiting. You can email me too. It's in my description box. <laughs> But I also painted that baseboard as well. So now I am getting ready to get to the countertop. Okay, guys, but before I get to my countertop, I'm going to go ahead and transform these Dollar Tree self adhesive wall backsplash tiles. And I'm going to be using that gold metallic spray, and that's the before and after. Isn't that beautiful? But I think this is going to be a temporary fix for the time being because I'm planning to use something else as a backsplash in the future. But for now, this will work. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I've done so far with this backsplash. Okay. This is what I've done so far. And as you all saw in the previous pictures, the real color of the backsplash is really bold. This camera is not giving what it is really giving. It's really a pretty, pretty goal, as you all can see right here. It's popping. <laughs> this here look like a dull goal, but y'all saw the previous picture. Okay, guys, now that I'm finished with my backsplash, I am working on this frame right here for my countertop. I still have to cut some more supporting pieces I need to cut a piece to go across right there, a piece right there. Even though I have that written right there, that supporting piece is going to go across there. Another piece right there, one right there, and the last one across that end right there. And then all I have to do is to paint the frame and the countertop. And then I'm going to attach it all together. Another thing I have to do is to sand those areas right there and then I will be almost done. But like I said, there are a few other things that I want to do in here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to include it in this video. But we okay, shall guys, see. So I've gotten the frame built and I've painted the front of it because that's all that's really going to be seen of it. So no need of wasting paint, right? <laughs> but anyways, I'm thinking about building another frame on top of it just to make it sit just a little bit higher and stand out just a little bit more. This is the frame that I showed you guys just a little while ago. I just took it off the cabinet and placed it down here on the floor. And I ended up building the second level as I told you guys that I was going to, to make the cabinet sit just a little bit higher so that I can frame it out around the front side. But, Y'all already know, your girl ain't wasting no wood, okay? So I ended up using my scrap pieces to build it up on the back side because you all are not going to see that. No one is actually going to see that. And then I ended up supporting the main areas that needed to be supported with that second level. And then again, like I said, y'all already know, your girl ain't wasting no wood. I ended up building the front area out further than the original frame because I want to be able to frame it out on the front side of the counter. You all will see what I mean. And now I have to cut my other piece of wood that is going to fit along the front area right there and along the other side as well, right there. And as you all can see, I've already cut that piece and painted it. And then I will be placing the countertop on and I'm going to paint the top of it the same color gray. Okay guys. This is where I'm going to be stopping right here because there are some personal things that I have to take care of and it will require me not to be able to work on this right now. However, I did not want to leave y'all just stranded, you know, with no video, nothing to watch. And so I figured I would just go ahead and um, just come back and let you all know that. And with that being said, it's time to go, loveys. I love you guys, and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior 
and your Lord today and come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.